Brooklyn Center-based Caribou Coffee is changing how customers get their morning jolt. As Delane Cleveland reports now, Caribou has made some big changes to its ingredients. I really like the Crafted Press. It's no secret that people like their caffeinated beverages. Coffee is really a huge part of culture, um, and it's also a ritual. It's kind of the first thing people get excited about in the morning when they wake up. Jennifer Hagnes would know. She's Caribou Coffee's Senior Director of Product, and for the past 10 years, the company has been hard at work trying to rid their drinks of unrecognizable ingredients. And it's really our commitment uh, to create amazing beverages that have no artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners. How's it going today? The Brooklyn Center-based company is marketing the change as clean label. Hagnes says Caribou is now the first national coffee chain to make such a change. We wanted to create the best beverages within the coffee house space, so we went ingredient by ingredient and really looked at what was in our products um, and found that when there were no artificial colors, flavors, or sweeteners, the products just tasted better. Currently, 91% of Caribou 50 beverages are considered clean label, which means there are more than 70 ingredients that are now off limits. The company's food scientists, meanwhile, had the challenge of making sure taste wasn't sacrificed. And so we've done a lot of sensory work um, and a lot of blind taste tests to ultimately choose what ingredients um, are not only going to be clean label, but ultimately which ones the consumers really like the most. They're aiming for 100% of the drink menu to be clean label by the end of 2018 team without passing the cost on to the consumers. The goal at this point is to optimize our supply chain as much as we can in our R&D so that we're not passing the cost on to the customer outside of inflation. Good news for anyone who needs that jolt of caffeine to get through their day. In Brooklyn Center, Delaine Cleveland, CCX News.